Good morning. This is Listen to VOA, Japanese English listening material site with transcript difficulty of Uyghur woman drawn by Japanese manga artist spread to the world through SNS. When she returned home, she was suddenly detained by Chinese authorities, sent to camps, and tortured. In addition, one of her triplets died during detention. A manga depicting the woes of a Uyghur woman has been released online and is gaining worldwide support. The author is a Japanese female manga artist Momi Shimizu. Why did Shimizu decide to make this story a manga? She was handcuffed, in prison, and couldn't meet the children. This is a story about a young woman sent to a concentration camp in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, China. Manga drawn by Japanese people runs around the world. Author Tomomi Shimizu 50 says that she wants more people to know about China's crackdown on Uyghurs throughout her work. I thought it was necessary to keep this as simple and easy to understand as possible, says Shimizu. This manga depicts a Uyghur woman returning to her hometown of Xinjiang. The woman was reportedly detained by Chinese authorities and tortured in the camp. According to Shimizu, one of the female children died during detention. Miss Shimizu posts the work to SNS. She was surprised that the reaction was quick. When I looked at Twitter, it's like a waterfall. Notice was flowing. I thought something was awesome, Mr. Shimizu. Submitted works were retweeted more than 88,000 times and read more than 330,000 times. It was also translated into 10 languages, including English, Uyghur, and Chinese. According to the United Nations and other sources, 1 to 2 million people are being detained by authorities in Xinjiang. Most are Uyghur Muslims. The Chinese government explained that the camp was part of a counter-terrorism campaign and has repeatedly denied crackdowns on Uyghurs. Ms. Shimizu has no intention of degrading China but says she couldn't pretend to be out of sight. Shimizu plans to collect experiences from other Uyghurs and publish the book by next summer. That's all, thank you. Listen to VOA.